Okay, so today I've already gotten a couple of items converted to the, the render graph jobs. I had, what was it? The importing the image, the UI pass, and the exporting image. So next item I want to move back on is these, it looks like. The swap, the resolve or swap? Resolve to swap image or blit to the image. Okay. Um, not really. Hmm. Okay, so that's actually an interesting idea now that I'm thinking about it. Like, unfortunately, like, while it gives me a lot more flexibility for, like, uh, being able to do, like, asynchronous jobs and stuff, I am kind of splitting these things up a little bit, making it a bit more difficult to, to run. I'm wondering, like, there must be... There must be some way for me to work this a bit easier or better without necessarily... Like, what if, oh, no, 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 actually that, no, yes. Okay, here's the idea. If, it's very possible that I can actually, if an image, if like there's a, fair, if there's a linear sequence of events, then I can just like run them. I could just like go burn through all the jobs together. I can link, if they're all like one to one, basically, then I could just link them all together into one larger command buffer rather than splitting up multiple command buffers most that's what i'm thinking that's gonna actually no that's not gonna work very well because i still have to do this kind of stuff maybe hmm unsure i am unsure i'm pretty sure like what i'm doing now is going to call is going to call introduce some slowness but I'm also not really entirely sure how to deal with it yet okay what we got um print graph name uh, the fence if we want it resource that we're um Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to deal with layout. Um, hmm. well, I mean, what do we do for layout? Do we even do anything for layout? Yes, we do. Source image layout, destination image layout, and then what I have to do is afterwards, I need to change it to something else. Mm hmm Okay, either way, yeah. still have to kind of uh, like uh, eventually these layout things will be kind of like internalized to the system but right now I don't really have much of that so I kind of need to specify it all like hmm. 
And worse comes to worse, it's pretty easy to flatten these back out. It's it's always going to be easier to flatten something out than to split things out in the first place, to my mind. Because you can just kind of take out the connective tissue on the ends, right? You don't you can get rid of this. Okay, this is a bad example because there's nothing actually happening here. But if we go to the UI pass, like all you have to do is say, you know, this is all the same. You just, uh, okay, not necessarily. You split out the command buffer stuff, the, the, the setup stuff here to here. And you get rid of the, you know, job submission, the end job submission stuff. And then you just t extract this part in the middle. Just this. This is this is all you need to take out, and then you can reflatten this out back into something else. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I. Hmm. Much. Whatever. There's no signal set before is here. We don't need that. No, okay, string view and stuff. That's still the same. Grab this. Uh, create job. So this is still some real awful stuff. So we have this. I need this stuff. Magic. We have that to end. Okay. What is going on here? Right, we have the new objects here. Source image, okay. So how do I return when I have multiple items? Because what I've been doing so far is just returning a single resource. I don't really want to have to, like maybe, Custom, I cut like. I mean, yeah, I guess a custom one will be fine, right? I can just return whatever. Um, and the graph resource. Destination image, okay. That's what we're putting. Good job output resource. That, I, I guess. Yeah, just leave it like that. Uh, that's what we're returning. Not really great. So I need this. dot source image equals let's go down here how's this consume resource right render graph we have the source image we have the consumer job which is uh, p job if we don't need this is true, or it's supposed to be true.
destination image we got p job is using whatever this is this is not read only we add render graph dot jobs dot place back job we're adding we return That's what we return. Now for the job itself, they got a lot of stuff to go here. I don't like it, but I'm gonna kinda have to do it anyways. So I need an error code. We've got that's great. I need the command pool and command buffer. Bam. That's what we got. And I need to include Vulcan stuff. Not that. That'll clean those guys up. This is these are all. Uh, I need the VK error code. Do automatic conversions. Good, good, good. So we start with the command buffer, and then what I need is this is the blit. This is the blit. So we've got to do the image copy, which is this one right here. This is a source image, which is this. So this is the, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna need, I need a um, image type. Yeah, okay. I've been running around with, uh, always on the assumption that I'm using um, a presentation image. That's not going to fly anymore. Like an imported image is not going to fly anymore whatsoever. Hmm. I mean, I guess uh, what's it like a transient? Oops. Is transient the word I'm looking for? Passing especially quickly into and out of existence. Correct, yes. Oh no, right now it would actually be an imported image. Mm, okay. I can still work with this for the moment. So this was the view, right? Yeah, no, it's not the it's not even the image view. It's the image itself. Ugh. I need the image. 
itself. Here we go. Okay, that P resource image. We got the output. So I need the kind of this. I need to make sure it's in the right state though. Hmm. I'm not really tracking state correctly right now, am I? No, I'm not. Uh, what's going on here? So what's happening in the last render to image? I'm leaving it out in that state. I'm assuming it's already in that state. Okay. Um, hmm. Change image states if necessary. Image layout. Ask states if necessary. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. How do I change image states easily? I'll have that in here somewhere. In Mimimage. Give it to me. Code image upload. Copy the buffer. Pipeline. Is this it? No, this won't be it. Is it? No, it is, this is it. It's, yeah. We got this, the copy command. Then we got... Okay, so we'll get a good old fashioned image memory barrier from right about here. I can do multiple images, correct? Yeah, I can do multiple images. So, See, now I'm just starting to run up against the uh, things I kind of have been uh, mostly avoiding because I was hard coding them all. Okay, so after I get these two done, I'm not sure if I can actually like expand down to this yet or if I'm going to have to kind of refine this. No, I should do that and then refine with more information. I keep wanting to jump, around, uh, jump ahead a little bit too quickly. I really shouldn't. Okay, this is an empty thing of two. Um, now 
from pairs equals two. Now, if old layout and new layout. Okay. Okay, we basically want to do this. Oh, sub resource range. Explain. Okay, yeah, this is simple enough. So we've got the source. That's what we want. We want to do source initial layout to that. We'll ignore these for the moment. It's whatever the image is. So source image resource dot image. Great. It's I'm not sure mm, how to do that quite yet. It needs to be source optimal. It needs to be that. Great. Image layout transfer destination optimal. Then we need to do this again. It's one to two or up to the one, depending on which way it goes. Okay, it wouldn't be that, would it? It'd be. Three bit. That's right. Bit destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destination. Destination unknown. Destination. Okay, and then we then we'd run the clan pipeline barrier, which is this. That's a pointer to the start of the array anyway, so that's n um, barriers. basically want to do this again afterwards we set this to zero we just run these two again the other side of this Final layout is not that, then we do source initial layout. Okay, we need to do that and select source final layout. So let's use that. Doing kind of the same thing. Destination, it's whoop. That. Destination image, blah, 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 blah. Then we do the pipeline barriers again. Now, 
I need to figure out how to kind of do layouts of masks. Because I don't, I've never really done that. Okay, uh, I do know right now that one thing I am doing is this is going from write to read. No, no, no. Destination, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Do that here, here. This is not even going to happen. This one shouldn't even happen right now because it's already in the transfer source optimal. Yeah. Okay. So you got that set up. He actually did the copy. The uh, unset up, I guess. Oh, yeah. All right, and then we got to do the submission stuff. <laughs> Which means I kind of got to go back to here. Oh yeah, I got to end the command buffer first of all. that and then we got the weight masks for anything we're waiting for we do this does this returns a VK results so we need an error code for that if error code return that Destination final layout is not even used right now. Oh, no, 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 no. It's down here. The final layout, okay. deal with this. Save that. Application. Like, do I kind of have to have the other one in place as well for me to finish this up? Don't I? Hmm. 
Hold on for a bit of a drink. BRB. Okay, so I got the blit, now I need to do the resolve. Man, I'm adding so much boilerplate. I do not like it. I do not like I don't like if I I need to do it right now. Ah. Or at least I think I need to do it. Okay. Source image. Okay, resolve image job. start with this stuff we, we just basically have uh, a bit resolve job sorry <clears throat> Very similar beginning. Um, and like that. Okay. We'd have this stuff for the end. Okay, command pool, command buffer, start stuff, and then transit basically the same thing, isn't it? Like ninety nine percent the same. Right? Instead we have pipeline barrier. Then we instead we have uh, no we still have the in initial transition stuff. Then we have a different uh, middle bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy and paste basically the whole thing if you don't mind. Thank you very much. All the way down to here, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got all that, and we're just going to swap out the middle bit, which is the resolve. See how we can do this, shall we? One resolve inside of there. Okay, we got the I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I'll leave it at that. 
Uh, let's add these to, so we got Builds. Not quite. Import image job. Requires 11 arguments, but 10 were provided. I added a new thing in here, didn't I? What did I add? I, add, I added something. Oh, it's the image itself. Um, it's not just the image view, but the. Uh, Okay. So up to the application. Okay, <clears throat> first of all, I need to make sure that right now it works. As it stands right now, it works. Please tell me it works, right? This is, I don't know, um, with no anti-aliasing, which looks about right. Yeah, there's no, there's no anti-aliasing. It's all aliased. Super bad. And then we go up to eight, the other one. For the resolve. And that is anti aliased very nicely. Yes, very nice. Okay. Let me add this as is. <clears throat> Because since this is a working step, and I don't want to actually give me that back. Okay, what's happening here is resolve the swap image. So I need a basic. Okay, I need to move this. This is going to end right about here. So we need a this. This would happen, then we'd end the command buffer. Okay. did all these and then we'd submit this buffer up to this point and then we go down to here I did that I need to auto um, Would it, what would it have been? What is it? Okay. Yeah, great. Great, great, great. Where's the bit bits? Hmm. 
Like what? Okay, here we go. I need <clears throat> the swap chain. No, it's not the swap chain image. It's the source image is this. Get render target image. Great. Really, I can't get the f image view. Ah, you kidding me? Uh, no, I need to. Okay, hold on. Let me go to. There is no actual way for me to get. You see, this is this is the problem with me trying to with with solidifying types too soon. Is I run into a case where I like you know I just need the I just need the image view again. Okay, uh, I'm sitting here on the graphics. That's great. Graphics render target, so I need to go to the Vulcan graphics render target. We down here. It does have a view. Okay, I need uh, samples, and this is what I need right here. Image view. I need to go to the Vulcan side of this right here. That, that, that. Okay, so back to the application. We're down to this. We now have the view version. That's image, image view. That's great. Um, this is a mm, for each camera, isn't it? That's what's going on here. Okay, we're just going to assume one camera still. So What was next? I need the format. What's the form? What is the format? No, 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 
this is stuff I only really know from the spec. Can I get the spec back out? Or is this just something I kind of... I mean, it is true. I don't really need to create the render target like this anymore. This is an old world. Old world idea. If I'm going to go with this, I don't really need render targets since I can just create transient resources on the fly. Okay. Uh, okay, create. Off screen specs is the view dot format, which is what? Nope, this isn't even the right one. What? Dang it. Okay, how do I create render targets for this other stuff? I must do it somehow. Initialize. Da, 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 da. Import state, register, sync, simulation, WSI starts, create window. It's probably, no, that's WSI. It's not what I'm looking for. Graphics runtime. Uh, create the surface, create a graphics session. Per frame data, okay. I'm sorry, what? Do I create it down here somewhere? Okay, you know what? Where do I, where do I run this? Here? In here, window.cpp, there you are. You sneaky, sneaky thingamajigger. Okay. Okay, I need to grab the window swap chain surface format stuff. Okay, um, let me just do like auto and window equals window render list zero. So what I wanna do is I wanna do that. That becomes window dot swap chain. That, 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 that please. And then this becomes window dot that okay mm -hmm. okay and then I can do window dot surface dot, sorry dot swap chain dot surface format dot format Okay, next, the extent. Oh, come on, please tell me I know what I'm doing here with the extent. Can I grab it out of here? Probably not. But I can get out of the window, so I'll do that. Um, right, yes. Uh, the layout that it's starting as is What is it? This is the rendered image, so it's like source, right? It's rendered source something like that. You. 
transfer source optimal. That's the color, that's the depth. Next is mutable, false. Weight semaphores is pre-graph as well. Oh dear. I need two pre-graphs. Right? Actually, this isn't, this isn't even going to require something. This is going to require like dot. This will become the pre-graph one. This is going to be the semaphore for whatever it is when we are waiting for the image ready semaphore. There we go. This is what I want. We're not quite doing that anymore. Yikes. Make sure I'm not going in there right now. Get back down here, please. We got all this stuff. Is there anything else? No, that's that. Okay. This will be in that state, yes. It'll technically be it'll be undefined, wouldn't it? Okay. That's something I need. Okay, I still need the Still need the like if 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 that yeah there we go nope uh, la, la, la. here if that so it's not this it's window graphics blah 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 then we need to do resolve else do the copy. Graph, the name, that is the name, we have no fence, we have the source image, which is this. Uh, no, it's not that. Sorry, it's this. 
That also means I need to move this around a little bit. The initial layout of this is going to be whatever this is, source image, optimal, yeah. Final will be, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. We could just leave it the same, it doesn't matter. Destination image is this one. Initial layout is present source. And the next one is, what is it? Because this is expecting UI, what is it supposed to, what is it expecting it to be? Uh, here we go again, like I'm running into issues with the fact that I'm not properly managing these resources. I'm mostly just copying hard-coded layouts around. Uh, it is expecting it to be in layout present source at the moment. So I can be kind of okay with that. Is it done? No, it can't be done. So that is it. Okay. That. Copy image job. Sorry, blit. Okay. Uh, equal resource. Uh, source image. So it'll be the next one, so it'll be correctly ordered. Okay, maybe, maybe it will be. Who knows? We're about to find out. F5, I'm looking away from the screen right now. Look at back. Yes, something bad happened. Oh, okay. Sorry. If there's more than one, then we have to worry about it. For the moment, though. I do not. Okay. Recompile. Rerun. Look away in shock horror of what is about to happen. Mm, the screen's pretty bright. Could be. Yeah. Oh my god, it actually kind of worked. Almost. I got some problems with. Uh, oh, right. The first three times the image went through, they were undefined. But otherwise, hold on. It is anti-aliased. Okay. It actually kind of worked. Hmm. Bring it down, MSAA down to level one. No multi-samples, please. Works fine. We've got three validation errors. That's good. that's good. That's good. An hour in, and I managed to actually move these things over. Hmm. Mm, I had to add that. That's unfortunate. But I got rid of another what hundred lines or so. 100 lines out of here, anyways. I mean, it, it, it's 100 lines into, like, what? 500 lines? Yeah, okay. But, ma but largely increased flexibility. Well, except for the fact I'm not even counting the masks uh, yet. Or the layouts are... Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see if I can go down to in the application. Let's close it all. Can I change it to undefined to start with? Uh, the present image is starts off as that now. Then it gets converted into that. Grand buffer expects image to be in layout that instead current layout is VK image layout undefined. That is not good. So let me Oh, I need to do it here as well. Yeah, of course. Copy and resolve. Nope, not quite. Right, yeah. yeah, 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 that's the wrong one. Back up, back up. It's supposed to be the presentation image, which is undefined. <clears throat> Although that's kind of a cool thing to actually see, like, it does actually have, it does actually have an effect. There is a reason for this. So that's been corrected again. Um, well, let's double check. Eight. Yep. Okay. Right, so that's the majority of the stuff realistically. All that's left is this, which is just the rendering of the 3D objects onto the onto the render image, render target. All right, that is going to require Okay, I can use the imported in it, the imported the, uh, the image import for this as well just for the depth image oh no frame buffers and stuff hmm hmm right i'm going to have a bit of a think on this one i'll grab a drink real quick brb all right um okay what I actually should do is what? Well, okay, yeah, I do need to kind of. Okay, where is it? The image source and destination access masks. I need some kind of function that to be able to be able to properly deal with this. I need to do it right now as well. I can't let this lapse. I need something, even if it's not perfect. So here's what we're going to do: Grafo graphics VK. We'll do like. Image masks. Is that what I will actually want, or do I want something else? Sub resource range is a pointer to something always, isn't it? That's not going to work very well, is it? I'd always need to have. Hmm, sub resource to come from somewhere else, wouldn't it? Okay, for the moment, yeah, for the moment, I'll just kind of put this into a function. 
Then I'll kind of actually you don't know no, not not up here yet. Top, we grab this. Just kind of shrink that down a little bit. Uh, where was I? Here. In here, I need to go to this type, and I need to return this. Access flags, okay. Thank you. Save. What's going on? Okay, just. Okay, let's get that back up. Okay, put this onto the side. This here, great. We got that, we got that. Okay, and we're bringing in a flag or a layout. So how would I do this? Switch case probably of, let's bring this over, let's go to here. Uh, you can't find it in the same file. That's great. Okay, we got not too many to go through. I'll go to okay. Down to here makes sense. This is video stuff, and what's this? That's that again. What? Why? They used to be okay. Okay, whatever. So realistically, I'll go down to here. Or maybe this one too? It's just layout frag. I have no idea what these are. I won't even bother with them until then. So switch case. This one, this one I can figure out what it's actually trying to do. The other is not so much, so case, space.
Okay, we have all those, and we have a default case where we're just returning access. We're not even going to bother with that second series at all, so... Access flags, okay. Hmm. Okay, image layout undefined is going to be, it's just going to have nothing. General, it's an image, right? There isn't really a case for general. Let's kind of put that down here. We'll just return nothing. We'll include... Something like that. It's already fatal. Fix it with VK just to make it sure. We'll do something like that. That's great. Feel the default case kind of sitting there. So general, I'm not. Okay, this would be including, not this one actually, would it be, do I have a local one in here somewhere? That, there we go, okay. Now we have, what, depth stencil attachment, so this is, that's read, so this would be right, so return, dk access. Yeah, attachment right bit or read. Right? Read will be for this one. Depth stencil. No. What? Okay, no, no, no. This is the one for the depth stencil read bit. Turn that. Pre-initialized, I don't really have a case for this. Other than no, I'll actually kind of leave it as a zero. If it's pre-initialized or undefined, then there was no access going, or going on here to my mind. Actually, you know what? No. Put it down there. Depth stencil read only. So I need is there like a depth stencil, not attachment, but just memory read conditional fragment. Color attachment. Non coherent. Yeah. Okay.
I don't know if this should be a shader read or something else. Let's put it down there. I don't know what it is. Shader read only, because this is... Shader read bit. Layout transfer source, transfer read bit. Transfer destination, which is the right bit. Got that, then layer, depth sensor attachment read only. Okay, what? Depth read only stencil attachment optimal. Attachment stencil read only optimal. What? What's the difference between them supposed to be? Hold on. Let me grab this. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, let me find. Oh no, it'll be down here somewhere, wouldn't it? It's an old Kronos thing? From Kronos Maintenance 2. It is equivalent to layout depth. DK image layout specifies a layout for depth sensor format images allowing read and write access. The depth aspect as a depth attachment and read only access to the stencil aspect as a stencil attachment or in shaders as a sampled image so it's not read only it's only read only oh it's read only for the stencil bit read only stencil it's equivalent to Stencil read only. Ooh, right. Depth stencil attachment read bit. I hmm. I wouldn't actually know how to work that. Okay, you know what? I should just back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm just going to do the ones that I know for sure. Okay, so all these kind of sit down here. Okay. Uh, okay, if it was pre initialized, that means. It was already like um, access host right. Right? Because I had to write to it in order to pre initialize it. Now let's grab, let's say. Wait. DK image layout. Present. Was there not? Image layout read only optimal. Shared present. Is there like color? There's a color attachment. How do I lose this? Undefined general color attachment. Okay, whoa. I'm missing something. Depth stencil. I'm okay, I just missed the one. Uh 
Okay, this is what it's. I'm writing to it. That's it. It's a color attachment that I'm writing to. Attachment right bit. Because, okay, am I doing anything where I'm using it more than once? Not really. No. Okay, depth stencil attachment means same thing. Return. return. Stencil right. Okay. So depth stencil read only. Not an attachment. It's not a shader. Okay, so I don't know about this one. Okay, let's kind of do that. Shader read only optimal. That is one that I will know. I have to, yeah. Shader read. Okay, that's it. Great. Transfer source. I got this one. Transfer read bit. Uh, this was this was a right bit. Okay. This is the weird one. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this one. Layout depth attachment. I. It's only a depth stencil. I don't actually have like a depth bit. Specifically, so I'm not going to do it yeah, until I know. Stencil attachment, same thing. Like I don't really know how to split them. Stencil read only, okay. Present though, I do know, and the shared present are going to be both the same thing. Okay, we'll just grab it from here. It'll be in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Which I'm already doing inside a blit image, it looks like. It's transfer source, transfer destination. As part of the old thing, the destination file and the layout, source, destination. Transfer read. Okay. There's probably something else I'm missing. Let's do this. 
German flags for this. Yeah, you know what? there regardless I need to include layout access flags HPP I need to rip this out of here into a source file this out of here that we added them here I uh, need to do the same thing here so that and that source final layout this sorry not that but it goes here and here and here and here we shall lay out that It can't be that dumb. It really can't. Like, there, there's no way that this is supposed to be this dumb. Like, the, almost a one-to-one. -one. There must be something I'm missing. Image layouts. Image memory barriers. Okay. Okay, yeah, because it's not supposed to be just that, right? Image barriers can also be defined to define layout transitions or QN ownership transfers. So what exactly is this? Source stage, oh, sorry, this is a 
I think for the, the second version of it. What about the first? Okay, here we go. Wait, VK image memory barrier is a struct. Okay. Wait, hold on. Is... Whoop. Struct. So I get I, I can pass either of them in, I guess, into here, right? I guess this is it. Or what is the uh, name of the thing? Operates almost identically to the second one, except that the scopes and barriers are defined as direct parameters rather than being defined by a dependency info. What? Okay. You can use it to signal events and stuff. You can signal an event once this is done. Okay. Uh, right, where was I? Looking at this. Access scope, and then it gives la image layout transitions. So, <sighs> memory dependencies. Let's see. Pause this while I read this through. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I have a bit of a better idea. It just defines like ac what possible access scopes there are. So I think I can probably add general. What's that value? That's a value of one. So I'll put that up here. A general thing can either be read or write. To my mind. Memory read and write. Memory write bit. That would make sense. These other ones, I'm not really entirely sure on how they're supposed to work yet, so I'll kind of leave them like that. But we'll do that. Uh, blit image. So this should be as good as is. So hold on, what's the settings? Eight. So we're going to be not doing a blit. We're going to be doing. Oh, I only did it for blit. Mm. Move this over here. Let's say, hey, you know, it's for it's one. So we do do a blip. Okay, I guess we only have we don't have this one. Source initial layout is currently set to that already, so that's fine. I just want to make sure all writes are done. Or sorry, all reads are done before I change it to or whatever it was before to this. Yeah, yeah. 
If that makes sense. If we have one, it should be the destination. It's undefined, so there's actually nothing there. So I don't really care. I'm just going to discard it all. Uh, that means the first one will be 4096, which is what? Transfer right, 4096, yeah. Okay. And that means down here. Uh, changing around the destination. Image memory barrier is zero. 496 to 2048, so it's from that to a read bit. Yeah, okay. And I can do this, that's fine, great. And there's no big errors showing up. No. Okay. Let me just kind of do the same thing. Okay. Um, trash that. Trash that. I got to do the same thing over here. So I'll get rid of that. We need to include. that we can now change up to check the resolve seemingly no issue I'll have to check on a second platform probably the old Intel laptop that looks to be okay so what we're going on about an hour and a half. Okay, I'll call it here then. So at least I have okay, at least I have this kind of going. This will be a bit easier and better to work with. Image layout, image layout, image layout, image layout. Okay. This is the image layouts are still things I need to remove from here. Oh, oh, um, hold on. UI pass, right? Right. So for the render graph, oh sorry, the resource. I need to say the re this is the render target. This is initial layout, final layout. That's great. I don't have to deal with that here. Actually, if I check the what the driver is doing for the for this, I could actually probably figure out their flags as well. Hmm. Anyways, 
New app, resource target, that's great. And we move back down to the application. Go down just a little bit over here. That, 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 like that. Okay, it's a bit less hard-coded stuff. A little bit. Okay, now I'll call it there at a night. So I got some things. I got, uh, I got the resolve and blit kind of done. I got some image layout stuff. I still need to place it properly, but it's kind of there. A bit more dynamic. So okay, I'll call it there. Cheers. <laughs>